Well, it's a long time coming. That's what people who live in an East Waco neighborhood are saying about a long awaited makeover for their community. Six News reporter Jasmine Caldwell is live on Elm Avenue where demolition has started. Hey, Jasmine. Well, hey, Leslie, all this work is being done just to make sure that everyone in the community is able to enjoy what's to come on Elm Avenue. If you ride down Elm Avenue often, you know Carla's Boardwalk is the place to get your daily dose of what's happening in the neighborhood. And now all people can talk about is the long-awaited construction that's finally underway. It went from being quiet and sleepy to now you've seen a lot of projects uh, being done, you know, the sperm development. And it's good, you know, I, I don't never have a problem with uh, development. The city of Waco is spending about $10 million to replace infrastructure, put in new water sewer gutter, ADA ramps, and sidewalks on Elm Avenue. Where that will end up, you know, we know we're going to be over $10 million total investment. Uh, but again, when you try to do an improvement like what we're going to look at with the a uh, finite piece of, of Elm, what it'll look and feel and play like, uh, I think it's worth that investment. While construction workers were working on utility lines in front of the East Waco Library, they discovered old train tracks were under the road. We're looking at removal of those railroad tracks. I think it's better for us in the long run. If we have a water repair, we don't have to battle through concrete and railroad ties and all that. New businesses, brand new apartments, and hotels are going up, hoping to bring more traffic back to this historic neighborhood. Contrary to popular belief, I don't think people have a problem with development as they have a problem with the area losing its historical character. So if that stays intact, I don't really have a see an issue with development per se. Now this project here on Elm Avenue starts at MLK Boulevard to Clifton Street and extends to University Park's drive. Now the city said they'll also put new sidewalks at J.H. Hines Elementary School. Reporting live in Waco, Jasmine Caldwell, 6 News. All right, thanks Jasmine.